Hey friends, my name is John Sawash. Today, Google is announcing a new feature for Google Classroom called Practice Sets. Let's take a closer look. Learning is personal. Students stay more engaged and learn more effectively when they get feedback right away. But one-on-one -on -one help for each student isn't always possible with the learning tools that exist today. For educators, having a round-the-clock tutor for each student that could help them grade classwork and give insights into student comprehension would be ideal. That's why we're creating a new tool in Google Classroom called Practice Sets, which enables educators to create interactive assignments from their existing content or from scratch. Students can get help as they answer questions, and teachers can get automated insights to know where students are getting stuck. Let's take a look at how it works. Once teachers create practice sets using existing content or by writing their own questions, our adaptive learning technology identifies the relevant learning skills for each question and finds relevant hints and resources that will be available for students if they need help. With all the typical question types like multiple choice and short answer, practice sets also have a built-in math keyboard and use our adaptive learning technology to enable equivalent answers for robust auto grading. Teachers assign practice sets in Google Classroom like any other assignment. Students open practice sets right from an assignment in Google Classroom. As they work, auto grading lets them know right away if their solution is correct, which helps build confidence, keeps them engaged, and prevents one misunderstanding from impacting the entire set. If they don't get a question on the first try, built-in hints help them along. When a student is unsure of where to start, they can open a resources section, which provides recommended videos and concept cards for each learning skill. Additional features include designated space to show their work, allowing them to demonstrate understanding while giving their teacher visibility into their thinking. For assignments created with practice sets, you will have enhanced features in the classroom grader view. Teachers get a quick view of class performance and can see student work for every attempt they make per problem. Automated insights reveal class-wide trends, so teachers gain visibility and can adjust their teaching plan if many students struggle with the same question or concept. With practice sets, students get the help they need faster, and teachers get actionable insights about their class. We understand that no two learning journeys are the same, so we're building tools that work for you. Well, that's an overview of practice sets for Google Classroom. Let's spend a couple minutes talking about what this means for us as teachers and how it might impact our students. I saw three really cool things with practice sets that I'm excited to try out. First of all, it looks like it's a great way for teachers to create new engaging practice problems with existing classroom material. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can use your existing um, information, images, and PDFs, import those to classroom, and turn them into engaging content. Secondly, I don't know if you caught it, but the hints and suggestions that will be provided to students as they're working on a problem look really cool. No more frustrated students or parents working on homework assignments over the weekend without the ability to ask you as the teacher for help and assistance. Google's going to provide those uh, hints along the way. And then thirdly, I don't know what teacher wouldn't be excited about auto grading tools. Now, if you've used Google Forms, you know that auto grading is good but limited. So this is almost like a super auto grader that um, provides space for like equivalent answers. So it understands that, you know, one over two is similar to 0.5. So it's, you know, it's all both one half, you know, three X plus Y is the same as Y plus three X. So it's a better auto grader experience than what we've seen in the past with other tools. Now, earlier this week, I had the privilege of interviewing Taryn Sullivan, the lead product manager for for this new Google Classroom feature. I'd like to let her explain some of the elements of Google Classroom that she's excited about. As you know, a math teacher, maybe you have two different courses that you're teaching um, and each with 25 students. And you know, the, the goal is to get that feedback loop as tight as possible, right? So they, they're working on a problem and they're going through the steps. And ideally, as soon as they run into trouble, they're able to get support. And so with practice sets, teachers can bring in existing content that they love and use today um, or, you know, create some new stuff. And then uh, our 
like adaptive learning technology can see the problem that they've brought in, match it to a learning skill. And with that learning skill, there'll be supportive hints and resources um, and, and, and little tips for students as they're working on the problem. They can also put in the correct answer, the teachers will, so that it can auto grade. Um, and so as students are going through the practice set, answering each problem, they're able to check it as they go and get that quick bit of feedback. Okay, good, I'm on the right track. And they don't have to go through an entire set to then find out, oh, I was doing it all wrong, right? Which leads to tons of frustration um, and just can really impact the student, um, their overall learning journey. Taryn was kind enough to spend a half an hour with me explaining and walking me through some of the cool features for practice sets. You can find a link to our full conversation in the description for this video. Now everything looks super cool and I'm sure you're interested in getting your hands on practice sets as well. Today, Google is opening up the beta program for this new feature. If you would like to be one of the first classrooms to try out practice sets, check out the link in the description and you can sign up to give it a try. Now, Taryn told me that they're going to be slowly expanding the size of the beta program over the spring and into the summer. And hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, they want to launch practice sets for everyone starting in the 2022-23 school year. Now, there is one very important thing you need to know. Practice sets will only be available for districts who have purchased the upgraded edition of Google Workspace for Education, either the Teaching and Learning or the Education Plus editions. This will be true for the beta program and also for the full launch uh, sometime next year. I would love to know your thoughts on this new feature. Do you think Google can accomplish its big goal of making it easier for teachers to create engaging content, providing hints and just-in-time support for students as they're working on things, and then improving the experience of auto-grading? It's a tall order. I'm super excited, but the true test will come when this feature and these new products launch in classrooms around the country and we can test it out with our lessons and our students. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. As soon as I get my hands on practice sets, I'll be sure to do a full overview. So subscribe and I'll let you know as soon as it becomes available and we'll take it uh, for a ride.